All right, welcome back, Cyber Traders. It is Tuesday. How's everybody doing on this lovely day? We've got two more days until Thanksgiving. And let me tell you, it has been a great pre market today. One of probably the best pre markets I've seen in months. How's everybody doing? So, a lot of good stocks are making some big moves. We had a really big winner today. I just want to point out my God, the F Tech. Are you kidding me? F Tech, we were trading F Tech at a dollar. And not only has it been a good day trade, it has been a phenomenal swing trade. Stock's up 600% in two days. Unbelievable. Stock did great. We're going to talk a little bit about that. We're going to talk about what happened. Also, what happened yesterday. Because yesterday, and you know, Josh actually brought up the, 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 the point yesterday. Mondays are usually not the greatest days. And we actually had a great Monday. I mean, we had a great, great Monday. Shockingly. So let's go check that out. And then we'll go through the watch list because let me tell you, we got a big, big list for you today. Um, and let me tell you, there was a lot of stocks that were in the pre-market that obviously went from the A list to the B list. And there was a lot of stocks on the B list that now hopped over to the A list. So we're going to let me just go. Let's go out there and check that stuff out. And uh, I just want to start off what happened yesterday. Uh, first of all, this F cell has just been a monster, monster. Stock went to $10. I mean, anything that has to do with fuel cell energy or anything. First of all, could you guys just think about this for a second? Why do you think, why do you think all these Neos, uh, uh, Nik uh, Nikolas, uh, all these stocks are moving? Could anybody have any, like, any comment, any type of recommendation? People, you, anyone on YouTube, Facebook, tell me. What do you guys think? I mean... And I'll tell you, I'll tell you why it is. Why do you think it's going up? The B Biden, right? So, you, what did I tell you? You are going into a uh, a market right now that you're going to have a totally different um, uh, ideology of people where they want to take certain the, the economy, and certain markets are going to thrive, and some are going to get crushed. Okay, so you know, if if President Trump won, you probably you have the same policies. Now you have. You're going to have a President Biden and you're going to have in different types of policies coming in. So everything is moving. But so if it's if it's wind, if it's, you know, electric cars, whatever it is, I mean, remember, don't I mean, you might be a fan of him or you might, you know, hate him. You might be a big fan of Trump. You might be you may hate him. But at the end of the day, we are all part of the same type, uh, 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 the same party. And we are the trading party. And if you like it or not. Keep your politics out of this, but don't let opportunities like this you'll go to buy. Like, like I had a friend the other day. He's like, "Wow, riot! My God, why is it going up so much?" You know, like you know, oh, because oh, because maybe Bitcoin. So that whole thing, and especially the new transitions going on, you're going to see a lot of things change. Also, what are the other big things that are going on right now? You know, we're looking at all these stocks, and it's not just the presidency that's taking off. There's a huge, <laughs> huge short squeeze in tesla but i mean tesla you forget this did a a, a, a stock split it did a stock split when did it make it less than what um when it made that big run up was in september look at the stock they, they, now they're saying to probably go to a thousand i mean the stock was a hundred dollars you know tesla is the is the basic um is the is what they call it the kingpin i would call it of all the other stocks because they're all following suit so when you're looking at f cell and you're looking at all these uh f techs and all these all, all these stocks that have something to do with it a lot has to do with it because you know the granddaddy of them all okay so everything is just you know just spooling in one to the other one to the other and there and let me tell you now they're saying that if they don't come with a stimulus package or do something that we're going to have over a million and a half people unemployed by January 1st. There are going to be so many people that are going to be getting get wiped out of their um, unemployment. And, you know, for all the people out there that, you know, that, that are worried about unemployment, guys, could you just start a new career? Just could you please stop focusing on like, like when they were worrying about, everyone's worried about the $1,200 stimulus check. And I was telling you, you really think we really care about 1200? We do care about the $1,200 stimulus package, you know, for some of us. But when you come into the year and you see what's going on, 
like I had somebody uh, the other day was was worried about spending to be part of the cyber group room because it's too expensive. I said, listen, if you think this is expensive, you should be trading, period. OK, but you want to make some serious money. Where are you going to find a stock like Riot when it goes from three to seven in three days? You know, you bought a thousand shares of that stock. You're really worried about $150. Okay. You're really worried about being part of a, a program for a year and paying $10,000 when you make it in almost in one day. But you weren't worried about getting that stimulus check. Trust me. Don't let government hold you back. Go out there and let's start. Let's capitalize on it. Like it or hate it. This is, I mean, people are like, well, I can't afford to trade the market because, you know, Facebook is trading at 270. I'm like, who's trading Facebook? Facebook hasn't done crap in, in in several months. You know what I mean? There's so many stocks out there that were killing it. But, you know, let me just go down the list because yesterday, hands down, was just unbelievable. F-Cell was one of them, okay? What else we had? D, uh, DPW, for crying out loud. That thing ran from two to eight. Was not even stopping, period. Unbelievable. PLTR, for crying out loud. New IPO, another one. $10 to 21 now it's look it's it, now it's making you know testing a new high another stock by the way i gotta put that on the on the the b list p l t r and then we have oh neo neo okay neo was three dollars remember that stock we were trading that back in 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 um in may and april okay look where it is now 50 50 oh 58 another you know i i always make fun of them copycat tesla but you know what who cares you made money Oh, these people, these Chinese, they're, they're trying to kill us. They're trying to, you know, they copy everything we do. I know, whatever, but don't let, the, don't let that affect you to not make the buy the stock at three. Now it's at 55, 58. You know, I mean, uh, Nikola, which I'm a bit a big, a big fan of it. Look at Nikola, guys. You know, all of us, I mean, I, 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 I actually bought more. I averaged up. We, we all remember trading the stock when it went to almost 100, right? And it took a big hit. The only difference with Nikola, it's, it's in the hydrogen business, not in the battery business. But I'll, I'll tell you, I don't see resistance. Next resistance in Nikola is at uh, 35. All, a lot of us own the stock at what, 22? And that was only what, five days ago? What are we up right now? We're up almost, you know, almost uh, 10 bucks on that stock. I'll take it. Uh, XPEV. So listen, it's ridiculous. Look, look at this thing. November, $20 to 70, 72. Yeah, you're still worrying about that next unemployment check. Time to change careers. It's worrying about the social security check. Time to change careers. Listen, people are living longer. Don't worry about that. Get your head down and focus on we do. Remember, trade small and trade often. Now, this is all good, but there's only one issue. You have to learn how to do it, right? So today is a very busy day. I know we did class yesterday for all the gold and platinum students. I mean, the, the classes are up there. Josh did a phenomenal job. You got class tomorrow. And then next week, you're going to be trading live with me for all the gold and platinum students. But today is also going to be a busy day, too. Today, you got traders talk at 11 o'clock. And then, you gotta, then you're going to have me on um, timing research at 12. Don't trade in the middle of the day. Go out there. Let's make our money within the first hour. And let's, bam, let's go right into it. Get into class because you have to learn before you can earn. How in the hell are you going to make money if you're not surrounding yourself with the right education, the right team? So you better be there because that is the most important time that you should focus. Don't You know what? If you missed this morning because you got to go do something, you know what? Don't worry. Stock market's not going out of business, but you got to be in class. All right? So anyway, let's talk about some of the stocks that are moving. Uh Kramer's ch uh, chatting up Nicola on CNBC. He loves, you know what? He, uh, William, he ran it up last time. He ran it up last time, you know, um, and when, when he opened up his mouth about it. And that was the last pop. So, uh, you know, and f -Cell has a lot to do with it, remember? So, um, listen, you got to pick your uh, your fights. You know what I mean? What are you going to do? But anyway, let's go through the watch list because we got a big list right here. I'm going to start with the A list. Okay, so there was a lot of stocks. Actually, I'm going to start with the B list because the B list was actually a lot of them were moving pretty good this morning. And then all of a sudden they backed off.
the F Tech. Holy crap. This thing just literally, we traded a dollar, went to 280. Look how much it gapped up right there. Actually, we put a five, a five minute chart so you guys can see a little bit better. Look at that. After hours, the thing just took off, went from three all the way to five, and it, it popped and, and had a huge run in pre market. If you were here when you were supposed to, and you heard me, you hear me say it all the time early bird gets the money. You were there, you did well with F Tech. Uh, F Tech. And that also yesterday. OPTT also. Look what happened after hours. 220 to 320 after hours, all the way up to like the middle of the night. And it also is gapping up big again. It's testing some resistance levels though in the beginning of October. So be careful of that. SPI. We all know SPI. Remember, we, we traded it yesterday. And guess what? That was a stock that was probably hands down. I told you this yesterday. The best trade of 2020. It went from $5 to $50 in one day. It was chaos. It was great. But anyway, she's starting to back off a little bit. Be very careful of that stock. It's a huge store, a short squeeze. IDEX. This stock, you know what? It was on the B list. I'm going to move it back on the A list. Another stock that we've been trading and did well. Great yesterday. Great after hours. And it's still, it's continuing what happened yesterday. Mara, another one that we trade this morning. Did great yesterday, went from three to five, and this morning, boom, gapped up, it's only to six, okay? Overnights have been great so far. You know, I'm not a fan of that, but you could trade less and trade often doing it. And then, uh, obviously, the PLTR, we already talked about that one. Uh, that thing is just, you know, it's, it still hasn't picked this battle. Okay, let's go hop on the A-list. This stock right here, AR, um, AREC, this stock had a really nice move, another big short squeeze. It was great this morning. I actually uh, also did pretty well with this stock. You could trade a lot of shares of it. Got a little nasty with some shakes here and there, but also, uh, let me just fix this chart right here so you can see it a little bit better. You know, if you jumped in right around 8.30, it had that $2 support levels, 50 cent pop right there. Boom, nice little move, nice little profit. Uh, I wanna see how it opens up. Listen, the market's not even open. That's the funny part, okay? VRQS, another one that's up uh, 13%, 4.7 million shares. Got some nice iceberg orders out there. Stock's got a nice little push, but she did back off. So I'm a little concerned about that one. We'll see how she opens up. Uh, same thing with MG, um, uh, GSM. Stock has been great the last couple of days, but also the stock, obviously, it, it, it peaked out here around 845, around a buck 80, stabbed down to 140, so... We're going to probably throw that back on the A-list. Uh, Tesla, I'm just going to bring it up. You know we're not trading it, but this guy is my age, for crying out loud. He's the second richest person. I, I'm just wondering how much longer it's going to take him to be the richest person in the world. In the world, okay? I, I mean, you, you got to give the guy the most respect out of everything. Most respect. And let me tell you, I don't see any any him losing any of it, all right? And then obviously Nikola is doing great too. We already know about that one, which obviously he's following suit with it. And I guess when you brought it up, when uh, when uh, William when he talked about it, that's where he made his big pop. All right, so uh, Norm, you made about 14 cents on rig. There you go. That one's, uh, you know what? I forgot to put that on a watch list. Yep. R-I-G. Good call. All right. Nice. Nice. All right, guys. I'm sorry to go out on uh, a little bit of a tangent right now, but it's just been a great, great morning. And um, you got Thanksgiving that's coming up. You got about two days. Let's go out there, make our money quick. Just remember, everybody, trade small. You don't have to get crazy on certain trades. You know, and, you know, I want to make a little tip of the day, okay? If you're one of those people that got into a little bit of a hole, because I know that happens to some of us sometimes. That happened to me actually yesterday. I was doing great, and all of a sudden, this damn stock dropped on me, and it got me in the negative. I had to work my way back to make my money back. Listen, you know, this is what we're going to talk about next week. Try not to double and triple down, okay? Try not to double and tri triple down. Um, try to go out there and 
Just make your money little by little and try to get back to break even. All right. And then you can worry about, you know, going back there because what happens, you start digging yourself in a hole. That hole becomes a lot bigger and you don't want to do that. So it's the tip of the day. All right. So don't forget class today. You got traders talk at 11 and you got me on timing research. So go out there and support us. Register for those events and we'll see you back. And for everybody else, we'll see you back here at 2.30 for the afternoon meeting. And if you made your money, see you back here tomorrow morning bright and early. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. Be safe.